This is ABC 7 News at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Peter Dubois. And I'm Beth Jones. There are some, there are some snowstorms that kind of leave you wishing for warmer weather, and then some where you're kind of left marveling with the beauty of what you're seeing. I think this past snowstorm was one of those. Yesterday's snowfall left some of us amazed at the exceptional snowscapes around town. We sent our chief photographer, Dave Simpson, out to capture some of those images for us. And with more snow in the forecast, we hope to see more of the light and fluffy snow, you know, the, th the kind that's easy to shovel Amen. Um, instead of that he wet and heavy stuff so hopefully that's the stuff that's on the way yeah and we'll and obviously more pretty pictures mm -hmm. to come as we you know kind of honor the winter weather here in Maine something we're all definitely used to yes. and that there's a lot to enjoy indeed there is alrighty well let's uh, get a first check of our forecast and see what's heading our way Hey, Beth and Peter, thank you. Happy Friday. Your first weather is brought to you by Goose River Farm Meat Store. And yes, there is another snow system on the way. It arrives late tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. And we have quite a bit of snowfall on the way. First off, the advisories. A winter weather advisory in blue, less snow for you. A winter storm warning in pink, more snow for you. And the snow likely arriving around daybreak tomorrow and throughout the day tomorrow as well. And here comes that system. Uh, this thing has a lot of oomph, a lot of energy, a lot of moisture with it. It's going to bring a heavy, wet snow to the area tomorrow into tomorrow afternoon. And the snowfall looks something like this. Now, the heaviest snow band will wiggle a bit, but overall, areas south of Bangor could see up to a foot of snow, much lesser amounts as you go toward the north. Our forecast then tonight, though, is clouding over snow likely around sunrise tomorrow. It will be heavy at times tomorrow with uh, low temperatures in the 20s. Your full forecast is coming up. Beth and Peter. Already, Jeff, thanks so much. Well, Skowhegan man has been indicted for attempted murder. 43-year-old Neil McLean was indicted on two counts of arson and one count of attempted murder. Police say the incidents happened in October of last year. And two others were arrested after police searched a home in Palmyra in October. They were indicted by the Somerset County Grand Jury as well. 40-year-old Joseph Quimby and 44-year-old Jessica Quimby were both indicted on drug trafficking, on lawful operation of a methamphetamine amphetamine lab and drug possession charges. They were also indicted for endangering the welfare of a child. Police say when they searched two buildings on the Wyman Road, they seized fentanyl, methamphetamine, suboxone strips, two guns and other drug related items as well as cash. The Maine Department of Health and Human Services was called in because children were present at the scene. The director of an Augusta homeless shelter has been ordered to serve one year in jail for sexually abusing a minor. 51-year-old Jeffrey Tyler, the former facility director of Bread of Life Ministries in Augusta, pleaded guilty to sexual assault of a minor girl. Tyler pleaded guilty to one count of sexual abuse of a minor and he was arrested at the ministry in Augusta in September 2019. Tyler was sentenced to five years with all but one suspended. Well, Governor Mills' opioid response team hosted its monthly webinar series Friday afternoon, this time highlighting two prominent agencies on the front lines of the opioid epidemic. It featured a conversation between the Office of Behavioral Health Director Sarah Squirrel and SAMHSA Deputy Assistant Secretary for Mental Health and Substance Abuse Tom Coderre. The two discussed the provisions recently passed in the Consolidated Appropriations Act by Congress and the work being done to expand the substance use and opioid response capacity in the state of Maine. We've already benefited here in Maine of seeing increases in our OTP providers across the state. Um, as I mentioned, increases in medication um, and increases in our main care claims uh, for services, which is also um, a great sign and indication and um, also underscores the significance of our expansion of those services here in Maine as well. Well, this webinar is currently held on the first Friday of each month from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Anyone interested in attending should visit our website and click on the link in this story to register. A Maine-based company recently delivered some unfortunate news to a large number of its employees. Our David Ledford has details. It's been pretty devastating to the area. Our area could use the, the job. Puritan Medical Products, based in Guilford, has announced that 251 employees at its two Pittsfield locations have been furloughed. 
The company opened the facilities after the onset of the pandemic, hiring hundreds of employees in the process. And officials say the company is the largest manufacturer of medical swabs in the country, which have been used to test for the COVID-19 virus. According to the company, the furloughs are a result of a decrease in demand for swabs. But town officials say the change is nothing new. The town of Pittsfield, as well as the region, is very resilient. Um, we've been through many closures, layoffs, and furloughs before. It is to be ex unfortunately expected in a community that has two massive, large plants with huge uh, numbers of people employed there. Puritan also recently laid off 57 temporary employees last month at their Tennessee location. However, representatives say the Pittsfield furloughs are not permanent and hope to bring back all affected employees within six months. One resident of nearby Palmyra says that in the meantime, the community will still feel the impact. I worked for the town of Pittsfield in the past and was here during the whole process of rebuilding and getting it up and running. and. Uh, there's a lot of people that I know that work there for that process, too. So I have some friends that work there. Grocery store is going to be affected drastically by it. Uh, all of the local businesses will be. Puritan representatives say the company will continue insurance benefits for the furloughed employees and has opened an employee assistance center in Pittsfield to aid workers. In Pittsfield, David Ledford, ABC 7 and Fox 22 News. Well, coming up on ABC 7 News at 6, the main logging industry generated hundreds of millions of dollars last year. We'll have more on those numbers. And we'll take you to a somber event at the University of Maine in Augusta to honor veterans who gave, their, who gave the ultimate sacrifice. We'll have those stories and much more as ABC 7 News at 6 continues. Markdown Madness has started at the Furniture Gallery, and we're in the game to save you money. Introducing our starting lineup. 10% off all in-stock recliners for the best seat in the house. 10% off all adjustable bases to upgrade your sleep and be game day ready. And up to 70% off all clearance items. The Furniture Gallery brings you better brand names plus a bigger in-stock selection, all at the lowest prices around. Hurry in to catch all the action. Find your best value at the Furniture Gallery in Augusta, Bangor, Gorham, Newport, and North Windham. Whether you're hurt by a box truck or by any commercial vehicle, you may have a big case worth big money if you've been hurt by any commercial truck. Call the twos. We win for you. Hurt by a commercial truck? Come out on top. Call the twos. With AAA insurance, by bundling our home and auto policies, we saved over $450. And we were shocked at the savings. When we switched to AAA auto insurance and bundled our policies, we were able to save over $400 every year. Switch to AAA insurance today, and you could save an average of $483 on auto insurance. Compare that to State Farm, GEICO, even Allstate. Call now for your free AAA full picture quote to find out how much you could save. Well, my passion is hang gliding. I've been doing it for over 30 years, and it's like flying. I mean, it's like everything you always dreamed about. AAA insurance helps us save more and do more. The savings from AAA Insurance has allowed me to pursue my passion of making jewelry. It's great to have a little bit of extra cash to do something that you love. To find out how much you could save by switching to AAA Insurance, call 866-460-1310 for your free AAA full picture quote today. You'll be glad you did. When you're ready to tackle your next building project, no matter how big or small, depend on Hammond Lumber Company for the products and services you need. The knowledgeable staff at Hammond Lumber will be with you every step of the way and keep your project on schedule. From free estimating and project planning to design and drafting services, an extensive product inventory with a wide variety of brands to choose from, and of course, Hammond delivers from any of the locations across Maine and New Hampshire. Hammond Lumber Company, your building project partner. You're watching ABC7 Bangor. Welcome back. 
It was a tough year for Maine lobstermen. Reportedly, they hauled in a smaller catch than last year. The industry battled surging fuel and bait prices, rebukes from key retailers, and the looming possibility of new restrictions to protect right whales. Despite Maine lobster exploding in value in recent years due in part to growing international demand, the industry actually brought about 98 million pounds of lobster to the docks worth about $389 million. That was more than 11 percent less than the previous year in which they harvested more than 110 million pounds of lobster worth more than four, 740 million dollars. The per pound value of lobster also fell from an all time high back in 2021. Maine loggers contributed an estimated $582 million to the state's economy in 2021. That according to a new study just released by the University of Maine and the Margaret Chase Smith Policy Center. According to the study, logging supported 5,600 Maine jobs, either directly or indirectly. The industry generated $312 million in labor income and pumped an estimated $27 million into state and local tax coffers. However, the study shows the industry is facing mounting challenges that include rampant inflation, worker shortages, and declining profits. Executive Director of Professional Logging Contractors of Maine, Dana Doran, says the study shows what Maine stands to lose if the industry is unable to overcome those challenges. Well, faculty, students, and veterans joined together at the University of Maine in Augusta to honor military service members who have made the ultimate sacrifice. A.J. Douglas talked to the mother of a fallen soldier who is working to make sure her son's memory lives on. Ariel, I have the honor and privilege of carrying a stone for Army Captain Christopher J. Sullivan. Army Sergeant Nicholas A. Robinson. That's a privilege. That story I will keep with me forever. The University of Maine partnered with the Summit Project and Blue Star Mothers to recognize 20 service members from across the state who lost their lives while actively serving. Both organizations support recognition projects dedicated to veterans. The Gold Star families and what, what they've lost is, is everything, you know. So in order to, to take a little bit of the time out of my life um, to show them the appreciation. Tribute stones with the names of fallen soldiers were each placed in a display case to symbolize the continued memory of those who served in an effort to ensure their names are never forgotten. Blue Star Mothers work together to help mothers grieving after losing a child to active of duty. Susan Stout speaks on how ceremonies like this help her family after the loss of her son in 2009. It, it means everything. His name has been spoken. He's been um, honored and respected by those who have been here today. We want to remember them. We want to remember their life and their story. The president of the University of Maine says this ceremony represents the university well as the institution works to recognize student and community veterans. I will say that it's a, a small piece of what we can do to just help remember those fallen. The Summit Project Honor Case is currently displayed at the Michael Clare Center for the next two months. In Augusta, A.J. Douglas, ABC7 and Fox 22 News. All righty, well, still to come on ABC7 News at 6, we'll tell you about the Horonda Wildlife Refuge's annual Winter Fun Day. And in sports, uh, there's plenty of coverage there, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Get ready. The Orange Event at Ashley is coming soon. For three days only, shop in-store or online for the biggest event of the year. Or shop now with financing options for every budget. The Orange Event is happening March 10th through the 12th. Only at America's number one furniture and mattress store, Ashley. Choosing a school is really difficult, but I have never felt like I should have gone somewhere else. The thing about I like about the school, the class sizes are smaller. Making friends is easier here because of the fact that you are such a tight-knit community. I was shooting around a basketball. That's how I met my first friend. You meet a lot of new people from different areas of the world. I feel like I've grown so much here. And there's so many amazing people that work here to learn from. I definitely made the right decision coming to Hassan. If you're eligible for Medicare and Medicaid, a Medicare Advantage plan from Anthem Main Health can come with all the benefits you want and zero compromises. Just go to anthemmainhealth.com slash answers or call 855-753-3928 for a one-on-one -on -one Medicare plan review. Ask about our $0 monthly premium plans that include dental, vision, and hearing coverage, along with transportation, a free gym membership, and $0 copay for prescriptions, all for zero extra cost. 
Plus, you could be eligible for extra benefits to help you save even more. We have plans with up to $2,500 a year to help you pay for over-the-counter health items, groceries, and living expenses like cell phone, electric, or water bills, all on a single prepaid MasterCard you can use at thousands of locations nationwide. Call Anthem Main Health at 855-753-3928 or visit anthemmainhealth.com slash answers and get a Medicare Advantage plan with zero compromises for you and your wallet. Every year, tens of thousands of older Mainers are abused or taken advantage of, usually by a trusted family member. Don't sign away your home, even if promised you can still live there. Don't hand over your checkbook or credit card. Don't sign legal papers like a loan document or power of attorney without talking to a lawyer first. Protect yourself, your assets, your independence. Free, confidential legal advice is just a phone call away. Call Legal Services for the Elderly. Congratulations and good luck to the girls Ellsworth Eagles basketball team as they head to the finals from Tony and Nicole at Fairway Auto Sales in Hancock. Online at Tony'sFairwayAuto.com. Come by your vehicle the fairway. It's more than just a tagline. It's how they do business. Go Eagles! Tonight's sports is brought to you by Taylor Events and Equipment Rental, 1179 Hammond Street in Bangor. Hey everybody, Ryan Sudall here. Thank you so much for joining us. Down in Augusta tonight are the Class A Basketball Finals. Our own Tyler Cruz is there, and we'll have all the highlights later on. But that's all until Monday. The predicted snow tomorrow caused the MPA to move the other gold ball games. Okay, so in Portland uh, on Monday, no games Saturday or Sunday, in Portland on Monday, Class AA Finals, 6.05 and 7.45 at the Cross Insurance Arena. Class D Finals at the Cross Insurance Center here in Bangor at 6.05 and 7.45. And then on Tuesday at the Portland Expo Center, Class B Finals, 6.05 and 7.45. And at the Cross Insurance Center here in Bangor, finally, Class C Finals, also at 6.05 and 7.45. Okay, let's stay on the hardwood and give you a preview of one of those gold ball games. On Tuesday, Dexter Girls Hoops will play in their first state title game since 2017. Their stingy defense and constant support from their community made it all possible. It's kind of unbelievable, but I know that we've worked like really, really hard for it. So I know that like all of our work's paying off. Dexter girls basketball is back in the state final after six years with a shot at winning their first gold ball in nearly two decades. It feels amazing. In 2017, I watched, and I'm very excited to be doing it myself. Junior Maisie Peach saw that game, too. Then and now, it's personal. I watched my sister play in the 2007 state game, so it feels really good. That's been a big dream, really important, so I look forward to playing there when I lose. The Tigers were the top seed in C-North, and they played like it, especially in the title game against PVHS where they held the Howlers to just 31 points. They have a lot of length, so obviously that's really, really hard to get by. But we focused on defense, and we knew like if offense is obviously going to work, our defense is going to cover for that. That defense has been constant all season long, and so is the amazing support the Tigers get from their community. So many people there at the tournament and people that I didn't even know about <laughs> congratulating us. Like you walk into Duncan or Robinson's in the morning and people will talk to you about the games and they're just really supportive. Dexter will play Old Orchard Beach Tuesday night for the Class C crown. Not winning since 2006, the gold ball for some would span generations. It would be really crazy because that was when my mom was in high school, so it's been a really long time. We worked really hard for this, and I think it would just mean a lot to everyone. It'd feel really good. Probably one of the greatest accomplishments. I think it would be probably one of the greatest things in my life <laughs> right now. And we wish them good luck in that Class C final. Staying with basketball, Maine men's hoops finished with their best record since 2009, and they head into the first round of the America East Tournament tomorrow. The Black Bears finished seventh in the conference, booking them a date with second-ranked UMass Lowell. Maine split their season with the Riverhawks, taking a win at home and then losing by two on the road. It's clear that the program is definitely on the right path, and first-year head coach Chris Markwood says the most important part of their success actually comes off the court. We got a, we got a great locker room. We got great young men, high character guys that really enjoy being around each other. Um, so they're really connected. They're having fun. 
Uh, and, and I think you see that out on the court right now. Even even when we do lose tough games, big big losses, whatever it is, our guys have stayed together. Uh, and that's why we've kind of been able to finish the way we, we have. We've handled the diversity well. Now it's not just Markwood making a difference. There are several newcomers on the team that have been vital to their success, including Kellen Tynes. He came to Orono as a transfer and became the very first Black Bear to win the America East Defensive Player of the Year Friday morning. Uh, you know, uh, my mom always said to me, you know, from a kid that you can always play defense. Offense may not be there, but you can always play defense. So that's kind of the mindset that I adopted. And, you know, I don't like getting scored on a lot. So, and I feel like you can really impact the game defensively. So that's what I try and go out there and do. That's all the time we have for sports. I'm Ryan Sudall. Here's Jeff Weller with your full five-day forecast. All right, Ryan, thank you. Your full weather is brought to you by Varney Four, the nice car and truck people. Let's start with the advisories because the hits keep coming, right? Here they are. The areas in blue is a winter weather advisory. The areas in pink is a winter storm warning, all for snow arriving around daybreak tomorrow through about this time tomorrow evening. And that snow will be heavy south of the Bangor area. Although Bangor, we're going to get some snow as well. It's going to be a very messy day for us tomorrow into tomorrow night. Out there now, though, you're like, snow? What snow, right? Lots of clear skies out there today. Uh, but this very compact, very strong system is just back off to the west of us. There it is. Lots of moisture lots of energy, lots of everything we need uh, to bring us a pretty good snowfall to the region. Uh, it's going to go mostly south of our area, though, where the heaviest snow will fall. But still, we do have lots of snowfall in the forecast for tomorrow. Let's walk it through it. So out there right now, increasing clouds tonight. Overnight tonight, maybe a couple flurries, not a big deal. Here's around daybreak tomorrow. So 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, it's snowing across the entire area except far northern areas, uh, which could miss this system entirely tomorrow with zero snow up there. Uh, for us, though, here in Bangor, looking at locally heavy snowfall for several hours tomorrow into tomorrow evening. And then here we are tomorrow night about 5 o'clock, all kind of pushing toward the east with some flurries left over. And then we dry out, and then really a nice day for us on Sunday into Monday and Tuesday. A dry stretch is coming. We haven't said that for a while around here. It's going to be sun-filled days for us on Sunday into Monday. We deserve it after the weather coming in here for tomorrow. Now, the snowfall is going to look something like this. Now, this model has Millinocket getting zero, Bangor getting almost a foot. This will likely be adjusted just a bit. Millinocket maybe an inch or two for you. Bangor probably around nine inches or so here. Uh, further south though and west of the area, more snow there and maybe some rain right along down east areas for us for tomorrow. But overall, a significant snowfall is on the way. More as you go south, less as you go north, uh, with down east areas getting lesser amounts there as well due to some rain mixing in at times. So a significant snowfall in the way, a heavy wet snow, lift with your legs, not with your back. It's going to be that kind of snowfall across the area for tomorrow. Uh, not much wind, though, with this right now. So the winds are increasing. We could see wind gusts near 25 miles per hour tomorrow. We've certainly seen windier systems, right? So going forward, so tomorrow it arrives. Heavy snow by morning rush hour tomorrow. It is Saturday. Uh, some wind involved as well. Look for some regional impacts with this because it is a very widespread regional impacting storm. Poor road conditions, heavy wet snow out there, and maybe some power problems as well with that heavy wet snow on the power lines out there. Temperatures are critical, right? 35 here in Bangor today, 32 Millinocket. We'll hang out near freezing tomorrow, thus that heavier wet snow across our area. Temperatures, though, to the north, of course, are colder. Uh, but for us, we're going to start getting warmer again. We can do 40 again on Sunday. For tonight, though, lots of clouds out there. Snow showers late by around daybreak. Tomorrow, the snow is arriving for tomorrow. Snow and wind, 2 to 5 inches are light. And again, much more than that in certain areas, especially south of the Bangor region uh, throughout the day tomorrow. Uh, areas for the north, less of that direction with highs near 30. And then looking ahead, your five-day forecast shows the story, right? So snow likely tomorrow. Sunday, we're going to melt that snow, a high of 40, 42 for Monday. And then look, we hang out in, uh, near 40 again on Tuesday. Beth and Peter. Hmm. All right, so a lot to contend with tomorrow, but we are prepared. We are prepared, and I'm just going to stay focused on those nice, sunny, 40-degree days. Yeah, a nice up. stretch ahead, though. Yeah, really, that's going to be great. It will be. All righty, well, still more to come right after the break. Tonight's stock report is brought to you by Triple S Tax Shop, 315 Hamden Road, Carmel. Come stop by for quality clothing and equestrian gear.
If you think you have Dupuytren's contracture, there's a simple test you can take from anywhere. Try to lay your hand flat against the surface. If you can't, you may have Dupuytren's contracture. Talk to a hand specialist about your options, including non-surgical treatments. Patriot Homes and Liberty Trucking in Ellsworth would like to wish the Ellsworth girls basketball team good luck in the state finals. Patriot Home and Liberty, trucking, designing, building, and now moving your dream homes. At the Bangor Grand Hotel and Conference Center, you will discover a new dimension of comfort. We've got newly updated rooms, suites, and a new and improved lobby. Our Blue Sky Lounge and Restaurant features exceptional food, flavors, and service. We welcome the weary travelers, the sharp-dressed businessman, the overnight basketball tourney fans, and of course, families on their fun adventures. Many of our guests tell us we've become their home away from home. Moving forward is in our design here at the Bangor Grand, and we'll continue to improve on the things we do best, like exceeding your expectations. Aris Lumber is locally owned and has been serving the Pinkus region for more than 50 years. See them for all your projects, big or small. Customer service is their number one priority. And with a full line of lumber and hardware items, they can also deliver to your job site. Harris Lumber, Milo. There's no stopping a Mainer with a college education. If you feel left out, pick up the phone now and talk to someone from Maine's public universities, where every adult gets a student success coach who can tear down the barriers to a college education and put you on the path to a better paying job. Want to join us? Contact Maine's public universities today. Your success coach is waiting. Celebrate St. Patrick's Day early with Irish folk singer Karen Casey coming to the Gracie Theater, Saturday, March 4th. In the morning we built a city In the afternoon walk through its street Karen Casey blends contemporary and traditional Irish music in a concert tour you don't want to miss. Karen Casey celebrating her Irish heritage at the Gracie Theatre, Saturday, March 4th. For tickets, call 941-7888 or go to gracietheatre.com. Tonight, tracking the tornado threats. Plus, wounded, he took on the enemy to protect his brothers. So why did it take so long to honor this American hero? More Americans turn to the most watched program on television. World News Tonight with David... Welcome back. For the first time in three years, a citizenship ceremony took place in person at the city of Bangor's federal building. Our Matthew Dronsick introduces us to the newest Mainers. Many smiles, tears of happiness, and pictures were on display inside a U.S. district courtroom as 25 individuals were officially introduced as Maine's newest American citizens. Honestly, it just feels surreal. Like, I didn't believe that it's happening, and uh, I didn't think that I'm going to experience so many emotions, but I couldn't stop crying all the way here. We live about two hours away. People originally from the Democratic Republic of Congo, Cameroon, and Ukraine took the oath of allegiance and were called by Judge Lance Walker to receive their certificate to prove U.S. citizenship. Walker also gave recipients advice on what they can do to be the best citizens possible. So the duty of a lifetime falls to you now, our newest citizens. Be well informed, start a business, continue your education, practice your religion, love your neighbor. Originally from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Julie Kintiba cannot express how much this opportunity means to her. I thank the USA to welcome me this country for everything they do for us in this country. Uh, I'm very grateful for the USA. Churchill Elaine Way Preston came to the United States two decades ago from Cameroon as a student. Now owning his own coffee company and officially a U.S. citizen, he couldn't be any more excited for the future. It feels great. It feels awesome. I mean, it's been 20 years, you know, it's about time. But, you know, um, living in a community where I live, in Waterville, and a state like Maine, oh my goodness, how would anyone not want to become part of a community like this? It's a beautiful community. In Bangor. <laughs> Matthew Jaroncic reporting for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.
and welcome to all the new Mainers. Well, it looks like an action-packed day ahead at the Harunda Wildlife Refuge in Old Town. The organization will be holding its annual Winter Fun Day celebration tomorrow. It's a chance for folks to get outside and enjoy everything from free snowshoe rentals to a soup cook-off. That actually sounds pretty good right about now. There will also be demonstrations on ice fishing, maple syrup tapping, ice carving, and learning about local wildlife. I think it's as we walk along in the woods, you can see a lot of tracks of animals. Mm -hmm. You can ask about it. We'll have some track charts here. People can uh, look them up and try to figure out what they are. Mm -hmm. And yeah, our mission is to introduce people to the out of doors and to form a relationship with that. Because only if you have a relationship with something can mm -hmm. you care about it. Mm -hmm. Wise words there. Well, the Winter Fun Day will also include a biathlon where parents and kids can take part in ice curling, kayak races in the snow, and more. The cost is $12 for a car full of up to seven people, and you can register ahead of time by visiting the Hirondo Wildlife Refuge website. You can also pay cash at the gate. The event will get underway tomorrow at 10 a.m., and here's hoping that uh, snowfall doesn't, you know, put a wrench in those gears because that yeah. sounds like a whole lot of fun. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's so much to be learned in the great Maine outdoors, yeah. but also so much fun to be had. So mm -hmm. love to see them kind of molding that, that fun and education. Into at the just, same time. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, that is going to do it for us, folks, from everyone here at ABC7. We hope you have a great rest of your night. Stay safe when the snow starts falling. Yeah, and stay we'll warm. We'll see you back here real soon. Good night, everyone.